that it can keep Magi at ledge, I feel like he'll be like insanely good at this. But we'll have to wait and see if that is the case. Battle Gladion's blaring in the background as we get started here with top eight. So you can already kind of see the kind of game plan that Mike's going to go for here. Just playing a lot of projectile games, but Wolf is one of those characters you can definitely stop that momentum with a reflector if nothing else. Yeah, we're going to say yeah as well. Um, you don't even need the reflector to deal with stuff like the grenade as well. You can just catch yeah, it back and it. just throw it back or just Z drop it, and it's like, it, you know, <laughs> even if you don't do that, it's still going to damage Banjo potentially Absolutely. too. Absolutely. PS2, the starting stage. I think both these players just. Pick as a, uh, as a comfort pick, it's balanced for both these characters, I believe. Yeah, just a nice neutral stage to start off on, isn't it? Magic with a sorry, Skulls with a pretty early lead so far. Yeah, we uh, saw um, we saw Moat look for the grenade, potentially for the grenade grab to get himself a little bit high, but unfortunately missing that grenade, and the Reflector comes out very nicely there from uh, Skulls to get that bit of damage tacked on. Unfortunately, Moat had to result to the Wonder Wing, which not only does that limit his supply, but it makes sure he can uh, not recover respectively, and we Ooh, saw yeah, then unfortunately well, going for that grenade recovery that uh, Banjo can take full advantage of, but unfortunately recovering a little bit too late. Oh, the jabs! Oh, oh look, at that look, that look at the spike there with the big bomb. And Mike's a really good player to kind of mix up his recovery, generally speaking, but the fact that you can kind of almost mitigate the use of that grenade because you can just reflect it, it limits his options a little bit, or at least makes him have to think a lot more about how he's going to throw that grenade yeah, at Magic as well. Yeah, exactly, because again, like, he, he might think, oh, I'm going to get a follow off the screen, like a Wonder Wing or a Fair, just for that kill power, but then what, what are you going to do when Wolf just reflect that straight at you, throwing out that Wonder Wing when Wolf, unfortunately, was nowhere near? Yeah, it's pretty comfortable for Souls so far in this game one. Up throw, not going to get any kind of connection. Tries to go for the wave line and maybe an up air as a follow up, but not able to get it. Keeps it even percent, but imagine with a full stock lead here. Yeah, oh, going with that wolf flash to take that stock, but not finding it. The grenade, not able to come out from Oak. That nair, good at repositioning opponents, but not good for killing them. Oh, oh. he went for a fight read, but he gets punished for that up smash. And unfortunately for Moak, it's uh, three stocks to one in Skulls' favor. It's looking very, very confident in the matchup yeah, so far. Huh? Really, really strong work here. Reflecting that single egg, the blue egg coming back to bite Banjo there. Wonder Wing coming in, but not enough to kill. It's a strong move, but not strong enough to deal that much damage. And that's definitely one thing that Mo can kind of try and control is the fact that the way that... Oh, wait a sec, that could have been dangerous. That's very dangerous. Not as dangerous as that Wolf Flash sending Banjo off stage. Good recognition there from Skulls, realizing the grenade was going to blow up and just almost rolling out of the situation and resetting back to neutral. Just intelligent play. That's the passive attack taking the stock in the end. Yes, like, yeah, imagine if DKs could kill at like 160. Yeah. It's literally the same thing. And one thing I've noticed that Magic's been able to do quite well here, we talked about a little bit before the match started, um, keeping Banjo, you know, Banjo keeping Wolf at ledge, and we haven't seen that. In fact, to be honest, it's been quite the opposite. Magic able to play the neutral well enough to make sure that he's an advantage to the point where he's yeah. getting Banjo at the ledge and taking him right off of it with that backhead to take game one. Yeah, not an ideal trade there from Moak. I think going for something like the up smash and it just traded to a way where did not benefit from it, unfortunately. Yeah, absolutely not. I think. Moke's just got to be watching out for making sure he can get Wolf to that ledge. If, mm. when, he, when he was getting Wolf a ledge, he was able to do a lot more damage. But Magi's just excelling in that neutral game, making sure that he can maintain his advantage to the point where Moke's basically playing his game. And Moke's the one trapped to ledge, which, you know, Banjo's good at recovering. He's got that one doing to get him back safely. Yep. But you can get back to ledge all you want if you're not getting back on stage and re-establishing that neutral. What, it's difficult what to do? actually re-establish, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Very yeah. hard indeed. I mean, right. Skull's definitely one of those players who can take advantage of that for sure. Really, really good neutral player. A character like Wolf, he's so neutral focused as well. Exactly, yeah. Plays right into his strength. Well, good. Fair getting that chunky bit of damage. Fair into dash attack. 34 off of that. Oh, that fair another fair. already putting in a lot of work. Oh my god, goes for the up B. We've been saying that quite a lot from Hachi, actually. We saw it a lot in his, um, his set with Goat that we just saw as well, like making sure that he can just throw it out for damage or for, you know, recovery just to mix things up. Two, one, three Two, Wonder Wings yeah. gone already. Yeah, 60% It's not ideal, but that being said, uh, Wolf, one of the lighter characters <laughs> in the game. There we go, a fourth one taking that stock pretty handily. And that's the kind of thing, like, Mac is one of those players, he doesn't need to reserve those Wonder Wings for specific areas. He's happy to throw them out if he needs to recover, but it's with only one left, he's, uh, he's making his... Recovery options a little bit more limited. And yeah, that, that's the thing you gotta think about. Like, yeah, Wonder Wing's a great little damage dealer. Yeah, it's gonna tack on 26 to 9, well, between 19 and 26%. But when it's gone, like, that's, you know, an aspect of Banjo's recovery gone. Yes, you've got the grenade grabs you can do. Yes, you've got grenades to drift and eggs to drift. But in terms of getting just horizontal distance, like, Wonder Wing excels at that. And if it's gone, you're just gonna plummet yourself into the blast zone. You can see this game is going a lot better for Moak so far. And oh, he tries to go for another up smash feed there. Gets the jab reset. Oh. Doesn't get any kind of damage off it. And he actually gets back air there from Skulls. Not ideal there from Moak. 
a really good punish from Skulls to make sure that he actually gets that stop. Yeah, great work there from Skulls, who wants to re-establish his lead. Oh, oh the wood jumping just throwing it straight out and ramming Wolf away. That's a really, really good aspect. That Mikey's good at kind of reading where your opponent's kind of going to drift with their recovery. And as a result, yeah, that Wonderwing can take stocks so early, exactly, as we just yeah. saw there. Especially against a character like Wolf, not the uh, not the heaviest character by any means. Absolutely. That stack off of that down throw tech chase. Good work of that last hit of the Nair, popping in behind him and be able to get it back air for his troubles. The Rattat Rap. Attacking on the damage, Ooh, but that yeah. down smash is going to tack on way more and make sure that stock is gone. Things looking relatively even yet again. But this is good. A very good position here for Moak. He's got him at legs. Let's see what he can do. Down throw is the option. Another down tilt, goes Catch for the up smash, good damage. Love that, that's the bill drill scooping in. People talk about Wolf's uh, up smash able to do that, but Banjos can do it just as well with that multi hit. 98% unanswered so far here from Moak. Skull is able to get a little bit of percent here with that up throw forward there. Getting that fair on him as we saw there, but oh, oh calling out wow. the, with the Wonder Wing right there. Not able to kill yet though. Reflecting still with quite a few Wonder Wings, so you can still throw that out as an option yeah. to recover and to hurt. One more of them, and it's got to be curtains for Magi in this game yeah, too. Hundred percent. As well as the percent climbs up for Wolf here, that back air is going to become a kill option as well. Not usually a kill option, but that third hit can be down the down throw, throw and the up tilt. There we go. That snake-like up tilt, taking that stock and the game for Moog, tying things up one-one here. And I mean, that's a pretty good option, generally speaking, when you get a down throw at that kind of percent because you get up tilt, or you can kind of mix up with the up smash depending on how fast they actually mash as well. Yeah, it's a pretty good option for Banjo and Moog using it perfectly. Yeah, yeah the up smash, the, uh, the down throw is really, really sick. They're taking those kills, and you know, being able to read the not mash and go for that up tilt, but you have to wait in time it just so that match is coming yeah. out. Um, and then, but if, if they're not mashing, then you can punish with a multitude of things. Somehow we're already on game three of this set. It feels like it's been going lightning quick. Absolutely flying off of these stocks here. Smashville is the choice. Very, very good stage for Wolf. Can utilize that middle platform very, very well to kind of extend those forward air chains. As well, um, Mokes, we saw um, last game, he was able to drop the grenades like from below and like have them hit Magi. Yeah. That platform's going to just take that out of the equation. Absolutely. Yeah. For the most part, it's going to block it completely. Trying to pressure with the Fares on the shield, but Magi able to break through the dash attack with Fares of his own. Set record between these two is definitely not the most in Mike's favor. He's taken a couple, but looking yeah. to take another one here in this game three. That. The rear egg. Skulls with a beautiful forward air into back air. Great. Excellent conversion. Gets that dash attack. Uh, sorry, the attack cancel. Back air for the stock at about 80%. Yeah. Very, very healthy lead so far. Yeah, especially considering Banjo's um, tied oh, wow. snake. Oh, there we go. That's oh, it. Yeah, good. That down tilt. Perfectly placed there for Mo to take that first stock. That down tilt is so good at catching ledge options. And then it pushes you out so far that sometimes you can't recover. And we saw that from Wolf there. The horizontal and vertical deficit was too much for the captain of Starwolf to handle. Down there. Tries to get the up smash read on the tech roll in. And there's another back air. Mike on his last stock already in this yeah. first, uh, third game. Yeah, not even two, just under a minute in. That's insanely quick work there from Magi, go. dismantling Moke. Okay, almost that. like, uh, reflect on the tail of the tail. Maybe Moke just, uh, maybe needs to slow it down a little bit because Magi's kind of running over him when they're playing this very, very aggressive position. Maybe looking to catch Magic come back to the ledge there, but not finding it. Wonderwing again, maybe a little bit reckless there. Yeah, he's got three Wonderwings left in this game three. Two. Two now. It's looking a little bit more dire. There's the up smash. Yep. Mike on his last legs in this game three right now. Using that Nair to drag down and pull him into position for a jab, but not finding too much off it. That dash attack try and attack on percent. Oh, re-catching the grenade off Ooh. the reflector, but unfortunately not getting anything off it as it blows up in Banjo's face. Skull's actually reading the jump there from Moog, but wasn't able to get the back air. Very, very lucky. Tries to read the roll in, and there is a forward smash. Skull's up 2-1. Yeah, really, really unfortunately. Well, you could see Mokes, you know, going for that F smash to get that read, and if it had been the other way, we probably would have seen it. But unfortunately, Moke misses his mark, and Magi responds with a fat F smash of his own, taking game, to, um, game, taking us to the last potential game of this set. Two one to Magi right now as game three concludes. It's kind of been pretty, pretty fast paced. Maybe it's again like I, I kind of mentioned it towards the tail end again. I think with Moke been slowing it down a little bit. Yeah. And just kind of allowing Skulls to, to almost shield his pressure and try to get something off of that as well. If you've got grenades, you can add, you can kind of have that shield pressure and maybe have the shield of that particular grenade as well. So, try to, to, worth. Try to establish maybe more of a zone as well, just to yeah. try and make sure that Wolf has to work to get in. Yeah, he's got that blaster, but, you know, and he might be reflecting your egg on the ground, but if you're on a platform, it's fine. Throw another up smash there to catch an aerial option from Wolf. Yeah, there's your up air. Oh, tries to get the landing, but... Skull's landing very, very wisely with a Nair. Nair is such a good option with Wolf to land. Because that last in hitbox. 
that have been potentially a little bit higher up. Moat probably would have seen a lovely 26% going on. Down tilt. Oh, oh flash. Yeah. Really, really good stuff there from Magic just to angle that a little bit towards getting onto stage and catching that down tilt. More flash avoided again. Moat more than any other banjo I've ever seen goes for that up throw. Yeah. Like looking for that up air off of it, but unfortunately a little bit too high for send that time to get it. Looking for the F smash, that Briegel bash, but not finding it. If that, if that up smash as well, that would have definitely poked through shield of that percent. Yeah, that's a really good utility that Banjo does have. That up smash does poke shield very, very well. And there he is. Oh, catches the side B. Still got two with 172, yeah. but that's going to be the stock. Back to five. Those, the Wolf's Claws digging straight into the Baron Bird. It's good damage here from Skulls, and this is kind of what happens, man. Like, when you give Adam a lead like this, he's just very, very good at getting that chip damage, yeah. capitalizing on any small mistake, mistake and getting a good 20 30% off it as well. Yeah, we definitely saw um, last set as well against Goat, where um, especially it was effective against Arsene, just any little bit of damage was wearing Goat down again. Wearing go down, he's wearing our send down and was able to take the set because of that. He seems to have done very similar with Moke here, just controlling the pace, keeping it to his sort of game. Moke trying to establish a little bit more of his own there, but not working. As Magis breaks straight through in that back air, looks to break the stock in half, but not finding it. He went for the grenade grab, but it's fine. The blaster actually saving him there. Point well, going to do it, I think. Yeah, yeah. And Skulls with a fat lead so far in this, uh, in this game four, and it could yeah. be the end of the set after this. Yeah, looking. Things not looking too terribly positive for Moat. The up smash though, the build drill. Nope, not finding the kill. Tries to get that egg was very well placed, but Skulls are able to get the ledge just before it hits. Look at the yep, that shield punish. Yeah. Shield worn down, oh, not well. broken though. Not Good even. Match from Moat to like get out of that throw for sure, otherwise that would have been there. Yeah. Tech chase into probably a dash tag. These Wonder Wings have come out thick and fast. We're down to one. One more. Potentially Moat's last Wonder Wing of this tournament. No more Wonder Wings available for Moat here. Goes for the forward smash. Oh my gosh. And Skull's trying to catch the spot dodge. No more Wonder Wings, so his recovery is going to be a lot more linear than expected now. Yeah, that fair coming out trying to kill but not finding it. Up throw. Oh, no down da throw off that. Yeah, the, the, you would think the down throw, but that fair is going to take it. Trades with the back air there and uh, might just be a bit of a consolation more than anything else. Yeah, not, not a trade, but he's going to want to engage in again. The Wolf Flash was trying to read the roll away, but not getting it. Yeah, Magic kind of knows that he can almost play this kind of mid-range game now because he doesn't have that burst option of Wonder Wing. There's in there. There's the there. There we go. The game. Very, very good stuff there from Skulls for a 3 1 win. Insanely. Solid, good stuff. solid play. Yeah, played around Banjo's potentially insane advantage of ledge, which we didn't 